Welcome to Shimon Dunja. Hello, my name is Douglas Chan. Today, we're going to face a case study related to buying over a cafe and whether we are able to buy this cafe or restaurants to see whether it's going to be profitable. So this transaction was given to me somewhere around the June itself. And until July, I plotted the chart and see whether this particular purchase is going to be successful or not. And uh, to cut the story short is that the final deal was that the owner is giving us a more or less 60% discount on the price itself. And we find that the business is pretty much okay. You know, it's not really fantastic, but after probably some revamp, there's possibility that it's going to be pretty good. But on the other hand, let us look at the chart itself to see, facing on this chart, can we see whether is there any good potential or not to buy over the cafe? So, in this case, we are looking at first the answer. The answer is always at the hour itself. Hour, this is sing. Same we refer to box number two. So box number two with the serpent, obstruct, and destroyer, big picture wise, does not really seem to be pretty interesting. And of course, if you were to see the sing and e, this is what we call the stem plus stem combination. Sing and e both are the stems, one is at the top and one is at the bottom. Sing and e is equates to family broken, marriage broken, travel have problem. And of course, uh, this one refer to the cafe itself. It means that the cafe is going to be broken into pieces. We do not know what does this mean at that point of time. And when the cafe is broken, is it going to be like this entire cafe is going to be broken into pieces or operation going to be broken into pieces or... You know, somebody going to buy it and break them into small pieces and sell it away. We do not know. But it gives us a very clear signal that big picture-wise, not so fantastic. But on the other hand, if you look at the profitability of this business, if we were to take over, this live dog itself, if you, if you see, uh, the horse means that in this case, it's a local business. It's not going to be good because it symbolizes us it's not going to be stable. And partner, it means multiple. In this case, a business multiple, profit multiple, which also tell us that there'll be multiple profits in such kind of case. G and thing in terms of stem plus stem combination is also means that in the very beginning, it's going to be full of hurdles, challenges, but eventually it's going to be pretty smooth. So overall, box four still not too bad comparatively. Look at ourselves. Where, where are we? We are in the day stem. Ourself as an asker, we are in the day stem. So in our day stem itself, thing and ping, we are thing, but of, uh, I'm looking at the these two combinations. Thing and ping is good combination also. And there's an emptiness over here. Emptiness over here is being filled by the run. This is this here is Jia Chen Ren. So in this case, this emptiness is being filled. Which kind of tells us that okay, in this year we are in the rest of situation, aggressively rest of. Thing and being pretty good combination and we are together in line with the energy of box four and three together which is said wood and wood three which is wood four which is wood both are in harmony so technically speaking it is of good status so the problem here is this should we buy over this cafe the main question is this eventually what happened is that after analyzing everything, we decided to buy over the cafe because we can see that there's potential. But eventually what happened was that the landlord itself rented the place to somebody else one hour before our confirmation. And because of that, the current tenant cannot sell away the business to us. And eventually everything is being destroyed. That means this deal was being destroyed. The place was being destroyed in a way. So this box number two kind of gives us a very clear picture of the entire business being destroyed. So somehow or rather, Timanuja is a very interesting tool to help us to do some forecasting of certain decision 
whether it's a business, relationship, career, so on and so forth, we are able to have a good picture of what's really likely to happen easily from 70 to 90% in terms of accuracy. But of course, this kind of skill set requires people to learn and to practice and to polish up their skills as we go along. And the skill set of human doing that is actually a very, very interesting skill set. So much so is that the more you learn, the deeper you go into, the more you're able to explore and discover more things. So those people who are still interested in Tim and Dunxia, yeah, you can always explore, watch my video, and learn a little bit of here and there. And maybe one day you can become a Tim master or a Tim consultant. Alright, thank you for watching this particular video. We'll see you around next time.